pants to talk to everybody. Um, so my name is Ohad, and um, I'm a long-time developer of um, computer graphics simulations, very intrigued by trying to simulate real environments, what causes people and uh, the mind to sort of acknowledge simulated environments as natural ones and accept them, which is uh, sort of in the core, I think, of what we're talking about. Um, a few months ago, I was thinking about um, what our digital display is going to be look uh, going to look like in the future. Once we have thin e-paper or uh, organic LED displays, we're going to have some flexible displays, very low on power consumption. Um, no reason for them not to be wearable on people with Velcro or tied on people. Throw in a few more um, sensors, accelerometers, um, light sensors, and suddenly you have dynamic screens on people that can react to the environment. Um, change what that dis uh, they, they're displaying, um, display information, act as fashion accessories, and, you know, I don't know, to me it sounds very fascinating. So we were thinking about what would it take from us to sort of build a prototype of this because uh, we're a bunch of hardcore developers very interested in, uh, you know, evangelizing new technologies. Um, so we started to think, well, we would have to develop, we would have to take an LCD because that's what we have nowadays, and we have to cut it to the right size and write a microcontroller for it and, and put it on us with a few, a bunch of wires, and it probably wouldn't look that interesting. Um, luckily enough, Apple came out with the iPhone, which has um, a very large display, um, all the accelerometers we need, and uh, has recently been hacked, um, partially even by Tal Muscala, which is probably here in the audience. Um, yes. So uh, what we've done is um, we've uh, partnered with a developer called Ramon, which uh, developed the first physics simulation software for the iPhone and sort of tried to um, prototype what would a futuristic display, sort of interactive display, um, look like if we'd want to go ahead and make a fashion accessory out of it. Now, can we have a camera just to focus here? Wait. So what we're seeing right here is a real-time simulation that's reacting to the environment and specifically to the accelerometers that uh, the iPhone has within it. So if I just walk around or just try to adjust this, you can see that it's really sort of interacting with me. And it's not fooling the mind that it's real because it's obviously not real, but it's much more real than a lot of things that we're used to see. And to be short and precise, um, what I believe is that um, Physical simulation is much more important than being graphically accurate. Hopefully we'll be able to elaborate about that um, some more later, but I'll just sit down with this on me and hope that we turn this into a product one day. If there's a fashion designer around that's interested, we're looking for one. Thanks.